There's nothing more pathetic than a god who begs. You're the one soul. Now, part of me is kind of upset at myself for not doing more Hellblazer content. Funny enough, I actually had a massive plan on doing a series of videos in regards to covering the comic series Hellblazer, but then IRL shit started to kick in, things got delayed, and I ended up kind of losing interest, for a time at least. I'm gonna do it at some point, just I just need to find a right space for it. But luckily enough, I actually managed to squeeze this end here. So so take advantage. I'm taking advantage of what I got. All right. So now if you've watched my Constantine video, the one where I basically do a character summary of John Constantine, you know that DC Black actually had their Sandman universe under their print label, which is basically kind of somewhat of a semi reboot of DC Vertigo or at least Sandman related comics. So I know Lucifer, Books of Magic, Hellblazer, and Sandman all got their semi reboots. Now, I have read Books of Magic, and I might do a video on that one. There's actually a lot to say in regards to Book of Magic and Harry Potter, by the way. There's a ridiculous amount. It's actually kind of nuts. I am getting sidelined here, but holy shit. But regardless, if you're actually interested in, like, uh, Neil Gaiman's, like, typewriting or the supernatural or magical element of DC, and you like Constantine, actually read Books of Magic. It, they do cross over from time to time. Tim does meet up with John Constantine a few times and it's actually pretty cool um both of them actually go to hell I think once or twice but I could be wrong I think I might be misremembering but it actually is a pretty good sequence where John Constantine meets up with Tim and says oh you haven't been to my hell mate and it's actually really cool recommend those comics a lot but anyway getting back into this I obviously being a massive Hellblazer fan I have read the Sandman universe Hellblazer reboot and I think it's very hit or miss there are some issues that are genuinely really good. The first story arc, that's the first three or four issues, I believe, genuinely really good. It is, the writer does a really good job of emulating and bringing his own spin to John Constantine and to Hellblazer, because it actually does feel like a prime Hellblazer story. I could actually see that storyline almost take part in the main line of Vertigo run, and sadly, not every storyline in that particular run is up to par there are some that are okay there are some that are rather meddling there are some that are like one-offs like one-off issues that are genuinely good there's one that takes place in a hospital that i think is actually pretty damn good pretty damn solid um another thing to point out um, i think some of the characters that were introduced in it are actually pretty neat um noah being the deaf character that um assists john he basically serves as a bit of a stand-in for jazz chandler if you know who that character is who is basically john constantine's friend who drives him around and assists him and there is a bit of a neat uh dynamic between the two part of me was a little reluctant and a little bit afraid in regards to noah but he grew on me and actually kind of became someone who i can actually see being part of the main cast line but to circle back again the run is not perfect um especially the final handful of issues there is an obvious political slant in those issues and i'm not going to get into that bullshit if you've been reading comments for a while you kind of know that this has kind of been a thing for a long time and well comics are paying a price for it but that's not really relevant to this conversation now but at some point i might do a video or i might talk about the sandman universe um hellblazer series that came out if there is demand for it though but like depending on how things go i actually might talk about it there are some issues that i genuinely do like that i genuinely do recommend but again it's very hit and miss now this is relevant because this does in fact tie into the comic that we're currently talking about 
and that in fact is Hellblazer Den in America, which I will not lie, I actually like it. I am hooked, and I look forward to the rest coming out. Now, a quick summary. Hellblazer Den in America is basically a semi-sequel of the Sandman Universe Hellblazer run. It takes place afterwards. Noah is with John, he's helping him assist, and they're in America because of events that happened prior in the parent series. So, there is a bit of a required reading here, and not only to Hellblazer, but also to possibly Sandman to an extent, because Dream of the Endless also shows up. Now, to circle back to the summary, John Constantine is basically somewhat blighted. He's somewhat hit with a curse, which is causing his body to rot. And the comic actually begins with an in media Reyes sequence where we see a, a very decrepit and decomposing, crumbling corpse that apparently we later discover is actually John Constantine only a couple weeks after the story actually begins. And a funny thing about the actual sequence is that what distracts John from crawling up the hill is actually him noticing a porno shoot being shot at a house that's actually pretty close to the Hollywood sign though. Which, in all honesty, I can actually see something like that happening in a mainline Vertigo series. Stuff like that kind of happened up quite a lot, especially in the later issues. Now to continue on, the dialogue is pretty much top notch here. John Constantine acts like John Constantine, the same old cynical chain smoking jackass that he always is and it is amazing because of it and there is also a pretty funny line about the first attraction at the fountain of youth and he actually says something pretty funny if the fountain of youth was in fact a real thing there would be actually be a pool of dead babies there would have reversed an aging to the point where they would actually become essentially fetuses which is actually kind of funny and fucked up in a way and one thing that john would absolutely say that's just another case in point to bring up is that this clearly is well written it clearly does feel like an old school hellblazer comic and like i said earlier some of the best issues in the sandman universe hellblazer run legit felt like stuff that would have came out back in the vertigo days because of just how well put together it overall was and seeing some of that wit and seeing some of that charm actually make a return here does actually put my hopes up because part of me was very apprehensive on reading this because of how that initial run actually ended so you can imagine my relief when well john's demeanor and the political aspect and leanings were taken to the back seat and sorry for being a little scatterbrained here because i am hopscotching from one thing to another thing to another thing but that's why we script things out but to circle back dream does make an appearance and he actually issues john constantine a warning and this does actually tie into a storyline that happened and i believe this does tie into a storyline that happened earlier but i could be wrong dream does actually show up and issues john constantine a warning in regards to well his sand being missing john in fact did take it but he lost it and that actually spirals and pretty much leads into the main catalyst of the narrative and there is a neat funny little hint at continuity to the previous run because sandman and john have met in the past before in several issues constantine himself has actually shown up in vertigo's original sandman comics which is kind of awesome seeing those two actually interact albeit not in the best of terms in this particular story overall i genuinely enjoyed this storyline dead in america does legit like i said feel like a storyline that will happen in vertigo's little hellblazer series and i'm looking forward to the coming months where the rest of the story will actually turn out granted i've been let down before and let me tell you i'm actually getting real tired of it so i actually got my fingers crossed for this one i will be buying the issues at my local shop because i love this character that much so hopefully i can set this one aside from some of the better storylines in vertigo's main series so but that is yet to be seen but for now i do recommend this if you are a hellblazer fan if you're someone who is rather new and is looking to start up don't start here you will be lost to an extent i would recommend the sandman universe hellblazer run but there are some issues with it i recommend the first three issues or so and it's up to you whether or not you want to follow up on that. The obvious go-to for anyone who wants to start reading Constantine, you start at Hellblazer issue one of Vertigo's original comic series. That's where I recommend you start. That's where I recommend go. That or Garth Ennis run, which starts at Dangerous Habits and continue reading onwards because his run is my favorite and pretty much universally agreed upon that it is the best run in the series. And well, it kind of is. 
So I pretty much said my piece on this storyline. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know um, if you've read this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We can actually discuss spoilers or talk about what might happen later on down the line, but we shall see. That is up for speculation. So regardless of that, hope you guys take care, stay chill, and always remember, you can't con a con man.